Hi, this is Rochelle, and today we're going to be talking about Tailwind. By the end of this video, you will not only know how to become a member, how to join a tribe, how to create a tribe, how to use your Pinterest and your Instagram for organic traffic, and connect it to your YouTube channel. So, stick around, and let's get started. Hi, this is Rochelle, and today we're going to be talking about Tailwind. By the end of this video, you will not only know how to become a member, how to join a tribe, how to create a tribe, how to use your Pinterest and your Instagram for organic traffic, and connect it to your YouTube channel. So, stick around, and let's get started. Hi, this is Rochelle, and uh, welcome to my channel. Um, for you people that don't know me, I um, do research all around the internet, and I look for places and different types of uh, products and services that you can get for free. All my tutorials I put, it, put out are all free. Okay, so that being said, today we're going to be talking about Tailwind. So let's get started go to your browser and type in www.tailwindapp.com this will then come up and then you'll see a tailwind here smarter visual marketing now I normally don't use any other type of uh, marketing apps but I was watching a video today and it gave me some really good information so we're going to be um, signing up to Tailwind with a free trial and I'm going to sign up with my Pinterest. So if you don't already have a Pinterest and you're interested in uh, signing up to Tailwind, then I have tutorials where I talk about Pinterest. And I will put them in the bottom underneath this uh, tutorial for you. So now this is now going to open into my Pinterest account. And as it's opening, um, I also want to mention that um, I have other tutorials where I've talked about making a new Google account for your YouTube channel. So now I'm just going to sign in with my Pinterest account and I'm going to authorize this app. And I'm not sure whether this is signed me into the right place or not. Yes, it has. Okay. So now I'm going to authorize this app. Click Authorize the App. Now it's redirecting me back to Tailwind. Now this is even before I, I have started the trial. Now, um, having trouble. Okay. Let's see. 
if this has uh, gone through the way that it's supposed to. It looks like it has. So this is going to be doing marketing using your Pinterest and your Instagram. Okay, now it says set up your login. This is the login to Tailwind. So create my password. I'm just going to create a password. And then am I a blogger or a small business? I'm part or mid-sized company or I'm large? And I'm just going to say I am a blogger or a small business. Complete your account. Now the thing that I liked about this was that you didn't need a credit card to sign up and I know that that's what stops a lot of people. They don't like putting their credit card information out on the internet and I, I don't blame you. Um, if you do want to ever use a credit card, you can always just get a prepaid credit card for like $25 and use that so that nobody can get access. Install our Chrome extension and this is required to schedule pins. Okay, so I'm going to install the Chrome extension. Now I'm doing this all real time so that I could show you exactly what you do because I know that there are a lot of tutorials out there and they'll tell you all about using Tailwind and um, how good it is and how good it is for marketing but they don't actually show you what to do or how to sign up. So that's what I'm doing. Right now what I'm doing is I'm going into the Chrome Web Store and I'm getting the extension and as soon as this comes in it says Tailwind Publisher add to Chrome that means that it's going to add the extension uh, to my browser. So I'm going to click on that now it's going to add this to my, my browser and this little box will come up where it'll then ask you again add extension and then you would then click add extension And then this little box will come up here. It'll say Tailwind Publisher has been added to your Chrome. And this is where you'll find it. If you look on your browser, it'll be with your other extensions that are in here. And the main reason for that, and I'm going to go through that later, is to schedule. Actually, we're going to click into schedule right now because it says to do that. Okay. Now, it gives you your instructions. You'll see this red, this orange come up here, and it'll say, "Click to select a board." So, what is my? And it has taken my uh, boards from my Pinterest. So now I'm going to click click to um, select a board that I want. Now for the purpose of this, the reason why I'm getting it in the first place is so that I can be able to integrate and use my YouTube as well. So I am looking for my actual uh, YouTube postings where I have it. I have many different boards here, so just bear with me while I look for it. I'm 
going to take this in. Create, I'm going to select a new board, um, just to create a brand DIY, okay? And it also says you can select multiple boards if you like. Just click or start typing to select another one. Okay, so, so this is where I'm going to put my pin description, and I'm just going to say um, this pin is going to be... And of course, I want this going to my YouTube channel, so it's going to just say the DIY Affiliates YouTube channel. Now, that's not really good keywords, but I'm just doing that as an example. Okay. Next, it says click the pin source URL. Okay, so what I have to do now is I need to go to my YouTube and I have to find the video that I want to click there. Or I'm not sure if I can actually just click my, my channel, but I'll try that. I'll see if I could just, if I can't just put my channel in there, then I will just use um, a video. Okay, so let's put that in there and make sure that I take that other thing out. There we go. And then next it says, uh, choose how to schedule your pin. So, automatically schedule at the best times. Add to queue. Okay. Okay, so that is creating our first pin. Okay. It says that I've just scheduled my first pin and my schedule has then come up here and it is today. But it's saying don't worry because this is this will not be um, actually pinned. This is just an example. So next, you can then add your pin to different areas where you want it to go. I'm just going to click Next. Okay, so now you're ready to head off into the wild. Okay, so there is videos that you can watch here. Watch Mastering Tailwind Video Guide set up my pinning schedule or explore analytics uh, dashboard so these are the videos that are available I say if I click into this one here this is then going to tell me a little bit about uh, mastering the tailwind as far as the um, a Pinterest goes. So you can watch that at your own leisure. Okay. Now the next thing that I heard about this was that you could actually 
join a tribe, which are people that would be in the same um, category as you, that are willing to share their followers. Okay, so as you can see here, there's a number of other people's different pins uh, that have just come up. That then you can then add to help them as well. And uh, they can help you, which I'm going to get into right now, which is the tribes. This was my main interest in checking out this marketing program, was to see how easy it was to, to set it up and to see what the tribes were all about. Join like-minded people in your niche to share relevant content and grow your reach. So let's get started with the tribes. Okay, so what topics do you pin about? Well, I pin about quite a lot of topics. But basically, it says choose three to five categories and we will recommend the best tribes to you. Okay, so you want to do something that's in your niche. And actually, I need to look at all the categories here. I would say that it would be um, it would be marketing would be number one health and fitness uh, DIY and crafts and um, I also uh, have tattoos which are very popular and technology. Okay, so I'm going to click next. These are my five categories. DIY and crafts, health and fitness. Okay. We have found some tribes we think you'll love. Join any tribe to get started. Okay, so let's see. Let's join the Tailwind Welcome Tribe. So, we're going to join this one. Now remember, I am doing the free trial right now, and I believe it's seven days. And you have a um, hundred pins that you can do, and I believe you can join five tribes with this. So tips, it's just loading the comment right now. And there's going to be a video. And let's go through this video right now. As soon as it's up. Congrats on joining your first Tailwind Tribe. Okay, so show me the ropes. Now you need to always make sure that you're watching for these boxes and you're clicking on these boxes. Okay, so here is where you will find all the pins and your tribe mates have submitted to the tribe. You have, you can schedule pins directly from the tribe in a couple of easy clicks. Now it's time to submit your own pin. Okay, so. We're going to go to next. And then add to tribes. Nice job, you just submitted your first pin. When you submit a pin to the tribe, this is where other tribe mates will see your content so they can share it with their followers. Here's a tip. Tribes work best when everyone shares each other's content 
more than they submit their own. And that makes a lot of sense because helping people out and sharing your knowledge with people is very important in order for you to grow. So now show me what happens. When tribe mates schedule your content from the tribe, you will be able to see exactly who shared your pins. We call these reshares. So we're going to click next. If you want to see how well your content is doing across the entire tribe over time, you can always look into your results section of the tribe. Okay. So and it shows you where the results section is. It's going to be part of your dashboard. Welcome to the Tailwind's new tool. Tribes, tribes are collective groups that make it easy to join up with your peers to share content, gain exposure, and grow your reach. Okay, these are the rules. The visibility is public. Feel free to poke around the tribe, then use the Create New Tribe button to start a tribe of your own. You can invite anyone you would like, including friends who aren't Tailwind members. So, let's finish up. And then here are some next steps you could get started. And of course, watching the Mastering Tribe video, and then click Explore My Tribe. Okay, so now that we've created a tribe, let's now go to Find a Tribe. Click into your Find a Tribe. So now you're going to look under these titles, these categories here, to see which one that you're interested in joining. Which one do you think that you want to share content with? Sorry. Which one do you want to share content with? And which one do you think will share your content? So. I'm going to pick the uh, DIY crafts. And it tells you down here different other keywords. Now I've already uh, joined two tribes. You can see up here I'm on a free trial. So that is actually a lot to choose from. So you just look at the keywords down here and you see what you're most interested in. I'm most interested in the organization. And then you would then look at the different tribes that are here and request to join. This is a, just a new one that just started. One here you can, you can just join, you don't have to request. So, I'm going to join this one, Simple Living Inspiration.
And then it's going to ask you, uh, I think it's going to ask you a little bit of information about yourself. So I've got a, um, what you call um, a canned response is what that I am going to be um, copying and pasting. This gives you an idea of the keywords, gives you an idea of the content. That you would be sharing and if it would be something that we that you would be interested in. Okay. So that's for the actual um, join now to do a, um, to find a tribe, you can also request to join as well. So now let's get into actual creating a pin because this is what this, um, this program is about. It's about using the pins and the Instagram as organic traffic but being able to grow your business exponentially so now getting back into um, back to the home button now I've now joined three tribes and I'm still on my trial It says I still haven't completed my description yet, so that still has to be that still has to be done. So basically, it gives you a little bit of information here about if you want to. Sorry, if you want to add pins. So I'm just going to click in there, but normally it would be off to the side there where it would say that. My computer is running a little slow because I have a lot of programs that are open. Uh, plus I have my um, video capture open and I also have the video pad open because I am working with a number of different uh, videos, putting them together. So I don't know why this is taking me into Pinterest. For some reason this took me into Pinterest. I accidentally clicked something that I didn't want to click. Okay. Oh, it was telling me about uh, one of my boards here. Okay. So let's just go back into um, Publisher. So I'm just going to click Publisher and there it, on the left hand side you have your drafts. This is one that um, I was working on from before, but I am going to do it from the beginning. So create new pins. So here is where you would create a new pin. The drafts is where all of your your um, your photos and your other information starts off. This is where it actually starts off. Here is in drafts. Okay, but we're going to go through create a pin. And there are a couple of ways uh, that you can do that. 
you can upload an image you can also pin from Instagram and I'm just going to go to Instagram to show you about that if you click on the pin from Instagram this is where the Instagram and the Pinterest are working together in order to create your organic traffic and this is really important to remember and it's very powerful because you can combine all of your followers from Instagram and all of your followers from Pinterest and as you can see it has this little schedule that comes up here and so you can schedule your pins that the way that you want them to go like say I want to do um, this one here because I think it's it's uh, pretty cool Coburg Lovelock now it really doesn't have anything to do with um, my business but it's um, it's an interesting pin so say I want to schedule that So where do I want it to appear in my Pinterest board? Um, I have a board, I believe, called Interesting Places. How about this one? love spells okay so now I'm going to save that as a draft so do you see the power here is being able to take your Instagram so that means building up your Instagram and that's important as well is to build up your Instagram so that you do have some information in your Instagram that you want to go to to your Pinterest and then I'm going to show you how that all connects with your YouTube channel okay so that is one way going back into the um, publisher again click on drafts because everything starts as a draft and this is how you get your pins that's that is uh, one way so there I have it right here now it's ready to be scheduled in which I am going to be showing you how this schedule works as well and then you can upload an actual image that you've already done um, you, if you just click in your upload it should open to your computer and then you just pick an image that you're that you've already done like for instance say I want that one and that's a picture so then that's now being added to my drafts okay So there it is right there. And the third way is actually going to your um, Pinterest. Then when you actually go to your Pinterest, what you will see is when you get into your actual boards, or anybody else's boards as well if you click your uh, tailwind publisher up here at the top you will see all of the images on that page come up so I'm just clicking that and it is getting all the images that I am going to be able to schedule So now, as you see, the images are coming up right now. 
and as soon as they're all in you would be able to see what's available for you to be able to uh, schedule your um, your the the pins from um, so that's from the the actual Pinterest so this is already here okay but these are images that you do have available to you now if I was to go to let's say I went to somebody else's Pinterest And this is great for people who are actually building up their Pinterest because it not only, and it doesn't have to be Pinterest. Let's say we went to, um, just say we went to another place. Uh, say we just went to Google and We were looking for a specific image, let's say a uh, desk. Okay, so I'm just clicking that in. Google search. And then I want to see the images. Then I would click my uh, tailwind icon right here and it will take the images that are on this page and then allow me to be able to select images to schedule so as soon as all these in images are in say you were um, looking at your Amazon or you were looking at another um, affiliate site and there was some products there you would just be able to click on the image and use it to be able to schedule it to go up on your Pinterest board uh, like for instance um, right now I've got in desks but if I had something else in here and I wanted to schedule that all I'd have to do is to click as you see it's not completely in because there's so many images that are coming up but you would just see a little schedule come up here and then you could click it and then it would then go into your drafts okay now the best way to create a pin is to go to <clears throat> canva.ca and use the dimensions uh, well normally the dimensions would be 165 by 165 pixels but it also says that you can have 735 and then adjusted to height. So let's see what that looks like. <clears throat> just say seven. Oops, just say seven thirty-five. Let's say seven thirty-five by one sixty-five, just to to have a look at what that would look like. Okay, I suggest that you use the uh, 165 by 165 because that is going to give you your best pin 
And this is an example of a pin that I was working on. And I'm going to back, back engineer this so that you could see where it came uh, where it came from. So going back into my Going back to the home, sorry. There we go. We couldn't save your design, that's okay. And then going back into the uh, custom dimensions, and then you type in the uh, 165, which is the best. And you can actually look that up on Google um, to create your new design. And you're gonna see templates that are coming up on the side. So this is the size right here that they say like is perfect for a pin. And then you're going to see little templates that come up here on the side. And you just choose. Say I chose this one. Now you should be able to put your own text on there to take off this text. Say you just wanted the uh, yellow background. Okay. So I really, I'm just going to delete the whole group here. And Seeing as look, somebody did that, I'm just going to go. Um, just going to take this whole thing out to start off. Okay. So then you would go into your elements. Now for me, what I'm doing is I am using the, um, the actual five tips as I will show you in a second. Just using that there. And I think I'm just gonna grab this one and just something very simple, but you can um, check out your own um, for your own ideas and for what you need but basically what I'm working on is just making something simple and as you can see this is what I was working on from before so I'm just going to show you um, five tips for an awesome YouTube channel trailer okay so just a back engineering this. I was just going to show you. You could go to your text and add a heading. Just click on that and it'll come up. And then decide where you want to put that. I'm going to try to do this a little bit faster so that you can you can use your um, mouse and just go like this in order to make it smaller. You can also make your box bigger. You can make your box smaller. You can um, change the color so say I didn't want black say I wanted purple 
So now that is now going to make this purple. And you would click into the area in order to see what you're editing. This is the size and this is the font. You can also change the font. Okay, this is a, a very um, short tutorial. Um, I'm not going through all of the different um, elements, but I am just showing you the basic ones here and what you can do. Okay, you can move this around. Now you have to be careful when you do when you are here and you're moving your mouse. You have to get it to the point where it has the four arrows. As soon as it has the four arrows, it can be moved. Without the four arrows, you're going to end up doing this. If you click this, you're going to end up moving this. This way or the other way. Okay? And it's sometimes hard to get it back, so the best thing to do is to, if you can't get it back, to to actually just do it over. But I'm just showing you how that works. Okay, and then I'm just going to do my tips. And when I highlight that I can then want to change or if you just click inside the box so, sometimes if you just click inside the box but because that fives there okay so I also want to change this to something else you can I can also change the color now this right here I'm into you see this right here this is transparency so you can take this and you can make it so that it's more transparent and then say you wanted to put something over that you could overlap it okay so for me um, that's not what I want to do so I'm just going to go back into actual what I want which is right there and this is a little too big so I need to make this smaller because you are working with a, a smaller um, canvas Okay, and then wait till it's the four arrows. You got one going one way, one going the other way, and that is how you can you can um, move it. Okay, and then I am going to add a subheading, which is um, and you can always change this because it's actually very big and it will have to be changed because it is too big okay so, there we go. and then I just wanted to And it's um, it's way too big, but you can always change it, and I'll show you. And I spelled awesome wrong. Let me just go back to my spelling here. As you can see, it's way too big. Okay. 
but it can always be changed because you could just go into here and say make it 10. Okay, and then wait till you have your arrows, all your arrows, and then pull it down a little bit. Okay, and then normally what I would do would be I would do an upload. And I believe I've already uploaded the picture that I want, but you would click upload an image from your computer. Now, when you upload something from your computer, you have to make sure that it's not a custom file. It needs to be all files to make sure that it is going to be able to get uploaded because um, Canva is hard to upload to when you're using custom files. They only like to really use pings. Um, sometimes they do use, sometimes you can upload a, J, a JPEG, but okay, just to give you an example. So all files and then open. and there will appear right here. But this is the picture that I want to use, so I just click on that. I just click like that. You don't have to drag it. And then make it whatever size you want using this. Remember to click at the edge up and down. Okay? And then you can move it with your four arrows. Okay, so say I, I want to use this. Um, say you want to uh, to do anything else, you would just go into your elements, and then you could look around either in your photos or your graphics. You have um, illustrations, and you also have uh, different shapes icons like say I wanted to use this one so I click on that now you see that's in yellow so I want to change that and make it black so that you could see it and then take this make sure that I take this so that it's smaller and then wait till I get my four arrows. Oops, we don't want my picture going. There we go. Okay, seem to have lost that, but I think it's under the picture. Let's just click on this, move the picture, and see where it went. No, it went someplace. So, Do that again. This time I think I'm just going to move it up here and then do the crop. You can also do a flip as well. Say you wanted to flip your icon or your illustration or your picture. Like you could flip horizontally. Flip vertically. I'm going to flip it right. I'm going to flip it back the way that it was. There we go, and it's too big, so remember on the corner to take it, and you can make it smaller. There we go. Now, whatever you want to edit, you just go right into your picture, and when you get your four arrows there, that means you can move it. 
So this moves it around on your pin. Okay. And of course this makes it smaller. When you click inside of it, this will make it smaller. This will make it wider whatever you need. And then when you're ready, you would then click this one here. And it's a ping and you're going to download it. Preparing your design. Well, this has come up because okay so this is my picture right here all right and just right click that show in folder because you want to know where your picture is where it usually downloads into the Windows C well there's my my pin right there okay so it's in the Windows C downloads right so there we go going back into my uh, tailwind I've just created that now I am going to upload it. Okay, so this is it right here. So this is my my new pin. And I'm going to type where I want the board to be in. I think it's going to be in the um, affiliates board. Um, you can also add it to other boards as well. Now, this is where YouTube comes in because I am going to take, go actually. And it's actually a playlist that I have that I created for a channel trailer. Hi, Hi this is Rochelle and welcome. Get this information here. Take this information here. And what I like to do is go to a place called Tiny URL Shortener and to go in and to just clean up your um, what your URL looks like. And you just enter it into the long URLs to make it tiny. You just go to tinyurl.com and you sign up, create an account, it's free. I make a tiny URL.
and then copy it to the clipboard. Back into uh, Tailwind. More information. Click here. Can also uh, publish to the um, Facebook. And also to your Twitter. Okay. So now this pin is ready. So those are the three ways that you can um, you can create your pin. You can actually have an uploaded one that you've done. You could go to Canva, you can make a new one. You could then go to your YouTube channel and get the information from the video that you want this pointing to. Um, you can also go to your Instagram and you could use a post from your Instagram to, to go to your Pinterest. Okay. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to then Add it to tribes. So I'm going to add it to my tribe, to uh, the three tribes that I joined. So now I've added it to the tribes. Okay, this is just a tip. It shows you what has been added. Okay, that's yours. So let's just click that. Now this is the scheduling for your drafts. Okay, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so that you can see. Now, I've only done one pin that I am sending out right now, but you would continue doing fill in your board number here, your description, and then add it to your tribes and so on and so forth for all of the drafts that you have and you can even make other drafts that you're not using right now that you want to go out other times okay so this is one that I scheduled for today and it's just an interesting photo this came from Instagram as well okay now it all of these all of the pins have been added to the drafts but they it can be changed so this pin is scheduled to go out today at uh, 10 55 p.m. But I can change that if I wanted just by clicking in here.
and I think I do have it too big now. It's way too big. It should be smaller. So I can move this to say I wanted this slot right there. I don't want to save it. I don't know why that keeps clicking on that to me. And then this pin is scheduled to go out tomorrow. We'll say I wanted this pin to go out today. So stop going there. And opening up. For some reason it's clicking on my side. So I could move this pin if I want. And it also has my um, my WordPress as well. And it's added to the queue. So I've added it to the queue. Okay, so now all of these slots can all be filled in. And all you have to do is click add to the queue. Right here, say I click this one, add to the queue. There is also a tutorial that if you ever have any questions, you can just click on this, um, this question mark here and it will then answer your questions as well. So the nice thing that I like about this is getting back into um, tribes. is that it increases your organic traffic exponentially which means in all directions and that you're able to use your Pinterest and your Instagram in order to um, create a more uh, let's say um, inroads to destinations that you want to get to. So the next thing that I think is really good about this and I really encourage you to join as a free member and I am able to I'm just going to click in here. I am able to send you um, a free month of Tailwind Plus so that you could get your first month's free and then uh, I will get my first month's free because I've sent it out and then you will also be able to do the same. So. I'm just going to click into here just to show you. If you want to be able to send that to anybody, you can also send it, say you your subscribers, people that are your followers, people that who you're building your business with, and you can create your own tribe with them as well. As create a tribe with um, other people 
that are out there and also be able to make um, new contacts and new friends. Uh, see, right here is your is the referral link and this is what it'll say interact well this is for me interactive views thinks you'll love tailwind and sent you fifteen dollars of tailwind plus claim your gift okay so you would get a referral link and then you would be able to send that out you could do, send it out by tweet or you could send it out by Facebook as well and you can also take this link and put it on some videos on your YouTube channel for people to um, to to join Tailwind in order for them to become part of your tribe and to also build their own tribes And then you also have this one, refer, refer friends uh, for uh, via email, and also refer five and get a uh, $25 Amazon gift card. Okay, so I'm already working on that, and um, I'm going to put all this information at the bottom of uh, the tutorial. So now the other good thing about uh, tribes and getting back into here is what you'll notice, uh, especially when you become a member, so that you'll be able to uh, click around and not get stuck. The other good thing about tribes is that you have a chat option. So those are my tribes. Find a tribe and also the tribes that I belong to, which are up here. And then this is your chat option down here. You can actually click into that and you can be able to chat with some someone um, about something that they're doing or something that you're doing that you have in common. So that is pretty interesting as well. So I hope this has helped. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and please join this this uh, Tailwind, and also join my tribe. It's called the DIY Affiliates Tribe. And also, when you create your own tribe, I will join your tribe, and I will encourage other people to join your tribe as well. And that way, we can um, extend our organic reach, and we can all work together to um, build our business, whether it be a YouTube channel, a Pinterest, or an Instagram. It doesn't matter because you will be able to get organic traffic in all directions. So good luck and leave me a comment. And also leave me a comment and Tell me what you'd like me to do a video on or maybe something you're struggling with that I can answer. I'd be happy to. I'm actually starting to build up my Instagram now, so I am going to leave my Instagram link as well, as well as other social media. So this is the DIY Affiliate wishing you a very wonderful day and good luck in your business. Bye now.